have not done a celebrity recreation in quite some time. I said I was gonna do these every month and yeah, that didn't that didn't happen. I am gonna be doing a celebrity re celebrity recreation today. I'm gonna be recreating Audrey Hepburn. I have been wanting to recreate her look for a very long time. Pretty much like all her looks are just so great and so iconic. I was really like going back and forth between a few different looks and I kind of want to do her Roman holiday look. Kind of half the reason why I'm so excited to film this is because of the makeup tutorial. I have been wanting to do an Audrey Hepburn makeup tutorial for years. I remember like going back and looking at, what was her name? Something Candy? Like Can Candace or Candy? Candy Johnson? Candy Johnson, I think that was her name. She did an Audrey Hepburn makeup look years ago and it just like, I I remember loving that video and loving watching like celebrity um, like makeup tutorials. I just loved it. I am very excited to do that. So without further ado, let's just get on into the video. Okay, so we're gonna start with the makeup, but I'm still debating on two different Audrey Hepburn looks, one from Rowan Holiday and the other is from just like, I think it's like a random photo shoot. She has hoops on in one photo and then she has no earrings on in the other one. To kind of make it a little classy right now, I just popped in some diamonds because diamonds are a girl's best friend. Breakfast at Tiffany's, Audrey Hepburn, diamonds. I have like all these tiny little breakouts up here and they are so annoying. I used a product that I shouldn't have. I knew this product breaks me out and I used it anyways and now I'm like seriously regretting, regretting it because I have breakouts all on top of my head. So I'm actually going to just do my base really fast and then come back and then work on the eyes. Okay, so I am kind of skipping on the bronzer just because I feel like I feel like it's not that necessary. Um, I know I look pale right now. I look more pale in there than I do in person. Something about just like a rosy, blushy face is more is more old fashioned to me. So I'm just gonna pop on some blush. This is Beauty Counter's Nectar Blush and it's just the most incredible blush of all time. I'm going to move on to the brows. And this part is a little daunting because her brows are kind of tricky. Her brows are some of the most iconic brows. They are very chunky and squared and straight rather than kind of framing her face with an arch. Her brows kind of like go straight out and they kind of have like a weird flick. I look so bad. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm going to set my brows and I'm gonna like kind of set them upwards. I'm gonna take a very light, nudey, kind of tan color and just start by running that in my crease. Okay, so now we've got the base shade down and she does have a very like defined crease with, it looks more of like an, a gray color. So I'm going to take this gray color here and just gently run it through my crease. And take that same light shade and run that underneath underneath my brow bone. Next, I feel like this is kind of her iconic look. She's a thick but smaller winged liner. And give yourself a little tiny wing. Now I'm just gonna pop on a little mascara. She wears falsies. I, I've seen a lot of the photos that she wears falsies. But I'm not gonna wear falsies today because I just I just don't want to. I had to adjust this setting on the camera because it was way, way too like blue and cool toned in here. So I look a little bit warmer. Here is the finished Audrey Hepburn makeup look. I really wanna try doing faux bangs like the one that she has. She has real bangs. I'm gonna try to do faux bangs. Um, it really might not work out. I've looked up a few tutorials on how to do it. She took the top part of the ponytail like this. She brought it forward like this, took bobby pins, pinned it across. Audrey's are kind of like towards the side. 
Oh my gosh, I look so, so weird right now. This driver is greatly disturbed with my hair. You don't like my bangs? I was thinking about doing this um, very wide skirt. It's not the same as hers. And pair it with this white button down long sleeve shirt. Um, I don't have a silk scarf, but I do have a hair tie, like a hair scarf that I could use around my neck. So I think I found a better hairstyle that doesn't look as crazy. I literally feel like a boy with this hairstyle though. So what I did was put my hair just in like a claw clip um, and then I took a piece from this side and dragged it over and pinned it up. I think this is as good as we're gonna get. I'm gonna wear this button up shirt with that skirt and then take this bandana here and tie it around my neck like this. I think this is kind of the cherry on top um, this kind of gives it that like ultimate um, Audrey Hepburn look. Here is a quick full outfit. So we got the white long sleeve. I rolled the sleeves up and have my little necktie skirt. It's like a perfect, just I forget what kind of skirts these are called. And then I also have these like gladiator uh, or strappy type sandals because she wears gladiator sandals, but I don't have gladiator sandals. This is the look. Let's go take some photos. We're finally on our way. I put on a coat to walk downstairs because I was so embarrassed. Um, but we're on our way. I think my hair, oh no, what is going on? I've got my outfit on and we're gonna go find like a blank wall to take our photos. <laughs> completes my Audrey Hepburn inspired outfit recreation and makeup. I'm so so happy with how it turned out. Hair is still just a little weird but you know I can't really fake short hair when I have long hair and I think the pictures turned out pretty good as well. So I'll definitely leave the before and after or like the side by side comparison. If you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel. Bye guys! Ooh.